So you haven't ordered a star in a nasal gastric tube or an NG tube and you need a reminder as to how to do so. No worry, I'm your girl. I am Nurse Eunice and I'm here to train you up, to help level you up and to help you keep our patients safe. And so I verified the order. I've also verified the indication. You all, why do we insert NG tubes or nasal gastric tubes? It's either going to be to decompress the stomach, to connect it to suction because maybe this patient's vomiting or maybe now this patient is healed and we don't yet have a gastric tube order we're trying to give them time to improve or to increase their nutritional status and to eat more so another reason that a doctor may order a nasal gastric tube is because we need to connect it to a tube feeding in order to feed the patient so it's either going to be to decompress or it's going to be to add nutrients and let's go ahead and get started you all i'm going to go ahead and glove up i already washed my hands i've explained the procedure to the patient and whenever possible, have your CNA, have your tech in there with you because this can be a little traumatizing to the patient. Um, some contraindications, of course, nasal trauma, facial trauma. We're not going to be putting a nasal gastric tube in if a patient has nose or a head injury. You can also ask them about polyps, just anything that would not make it safe for them to have a nasal gastric tube. Let's go ahead and inspect. I'm going to use my pen light. Mrs. Lucas, I'm going to be looking at your nostrils, okay? All right, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I'm also going to look in the back of her throat. Why? Because as this advances, sometimes your patient starts to cough and gag. And I'm not going to put this too far in, just enough so I can visualize the back of the throat. So her nostrils look okay and the back of her tongue, the back of her throat also looks okay. And she had a gag reflex. She said, now that I've done my preliminary check, let's go ahead and start measuring. I have my Salem sump, AKA my nasal gastric tube, and I'm gonna measure it on the opposite side so that you can see it better, but it's from the tip of the nose to the ear, down to the xiphoid process. So nose to ear to xiphoid process. And so what we'll do is we'll mark it. If we don't mark it, we'll normally put like a piece of tape there so that we know how far to advance it. So, so now that I have everything measured, I'm gonna put a towel on my patient's chest. Sometimes they feel the need to vomit and if they do, I wanna have a basin or something nearby and I can also use it to wipe their mouth afterwards. So I have a towel that's protecting their clothing just in case. So now that everything's lubed, I'm gonna go ahead and insert. I'm gonna follow the direction of the near. Let's go on three, one, two, and three, All right? Hold your head down for me. Now let's get you to drink something. Take a sip, take a sip, take a sip. Good, 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 good. All right, it is in there. And so how do you feel? Are you okay? Let me go ahead and wipe some of that lubricant from around your nose. You did really well. Now you all, before I secure this, I wanna make sure that it's actually in the proper location. I should be able to aspirate the pull back and to collect some of the gastric contents. I'm gonna connect the large syringe that comes with the piston tray and I'm gonna pull back, I'm gonna aspirate. You'll be noting the color of the gastric secretions. Let's confirm that we have the gastric tube in the right location. It should be in the stomach. And so if it's in the stomach, this gastric contents, what I aspirated, it should be acidic. And so your facilities will have whatever type of pH detector, you're gonna go ahead and test it. You can actually put the, um, you could put the gastric contents in the medication cup, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't have one here. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my pH strip and then hopefully the pH will be less than five, meaning that it's acidic, which means that it's in the proper location. But that's just a preliminary um, way to determine whether or not we have the tube in the right location, just so that we can secure it. The best way to, to confirm tube placement is to actually have an x-ray. So we still can't use it yet until we have the x-ray to confirm placement. So now to secure it, what I normally do is I have a about a four inch piece of tape and I'm just going to tear one end of the tape in half. So four inch, tear one end in half. So it to be split, I'm gonna tear it a little bit more. If you have to use alcohol on your patient's nose because their skin is oily or some type of wipe, do it very quickly because you don't want to have alcohol or anything near your patient's eye for too long. But her skin is not oily. I'm going to go ahead and put the top of this on her nose. And 
and I'm going to start wrapping one of those ends that I tore in half around and I'm going to do the same on the other side. And some of your facilities will have commercialized securing devices. Sorry, we don't have that in Nurse Units' simulation lab, so I have to use what I have. Old school nurse here. All right, so now that we have this taped, your facilities may ask that you either pin this to their shirt. I'm just gonna stick this inside of the pocket of her shirt for now. And that's how you would insert a nasal gastric tube. And I hope this helped. Remember, preliminary is just we're going to use the pH strips to check the pH to make sure it's in the gastric contents. But we have to have a check sex rate. If your patients start having any respiratory issues, that would necessitate a, another assessment. So if your patient starts having any breathing issues, that could mean that the tube is not in the right place. I need for you to assess your patient. Don't forget to listen to those lung sounds, those bowel sounds, and ask about their pain and how are they feeling right now and I hope that helped you a lot let's take off these gloves every video how do I take off my gloves all right so we're gonna go here we're gonna pinch from um, not on the very end but near the um, cuff of the glove we're gonna pinch and we're gonna pull down and now I cannot touch the outside of the glove I'm gonna go under two fingers pull off and that's it, everybody. We did it. We answered our NG tube. Great job, team. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. She says bye, too.